Hey friends, welcome to a new video of Microsoft Office Tutorials. Friends, in this video we are going to discuss how we can use uh, approximate match or non-exact match with VLOOKUP function. Friends, I am sure you have been watched many many videos on VLOOKUP function but I am also sure that most of those videos will be only on exact match with VLOOKUP function because not everybody discuss this approximate match with VLOOKUP function. So today we are going to discuss this topic because this is also uh, an important topic and also very interesting topic so we, uh, what will be our action plan first of all we will use exact match and we'll see how uh, there are some limitations of exact match on some examples and how approximate match is useful for those examples and at last i will uh, tell you some essentials that you need to make sure before you start working on approximate match uh, so that approximate match can work properly so i think we have been uh, wasted about one minute on blah 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 so without wasting more time, I think we should start our uh, tutorial. <laughs> so friends, here you can uh, see we have here two tables. Uh, first table belongs to sales. Here uh, first column is serial number. Then here are names of salespersons. And uh, next column is total sales made by those persons. And next two columns we need to find out. Uh, one column is sales commission in percentage. And second column is sales commission in uh, dollars. And the here second uh, table shows us uh, commission percentage with sales ranges. Let me explain you what does mean of this table. Uh, here uh, at top we have here 50,000 sales range and with 5% uh, commission. What does this mean? This means any salesperson who has been made sales equal to 50,000 or greater than 50,000 and less than 75,000 he will get 5% commission. And next any salesperson who has been made 75,000 sales uh, or greater than 75,000 sales and less than $100 uh, sales he will get commission of 6%. So uh, here, uh, let me uh, before we start uh, using VLOOKUP function, let me make uh, name range for this uh, data that we are from which we are going to look up our value. So what I will do, I will select this whole table and I will write here. Maybe I will write here name range as commission. You that this name range has been created, and now what I will do, I will first of all, as I have been told you, uh, first of all we will use exact match so i will write will sorry i will use vlookup uh, i will use uh, exact match so i have been inserted here vlookup what we are trying to uh, find out we are trying to find out this sales figure where we are trying to find out we are trying to find out in this range uh, in this table so what i will do i will just type that uh, name range that we have been created so, uh, you can see here commission i will select this commission and what i will do here next is column index number column index number means if i if this value has been found in this range then after that from which column i want to bring value here means here we have two columns after this value has been found or uh, this uh, we found this value here in this table i want to bring uh, from a value from second column so uh, you see here commission is from second column is in second column so i will write here too and next we need to select which match we want to use here as i have been to i as i have been told you we will use exact match so here i will use exact match and i will close bracket and will press enter now you can see this is showing us error so let me drag it down so now you can see this this is showing us error but just here for 50000 this is showing us 5% and for uh, 100000 this is showing us 7% because these only these two figures are found here in this table this is the limitation of uh, exact match if it will found if it will find uh, exact value it will show us a result otherwise it will show us error now uh, let we use uh, now we will use approximate match and we will see that uh, results are useful after using approximate match or no now i will write here now you can see we have been written here false or uh, or uh, exact match now i will write here one or uh, that also mean approximate match so i will press enter now you can see this is six percent commission so i will drag it down and i will say either it is useful or no now you can see this is showing us uh, results now uh, let me explain you how this work uh, 97 is here total sales are 97,419 and total commission percent in percentage is six percent here I come how it is 6% 6% as I have been told you any salesperson or any person who has been made sales equal to 75,000 or greater than 75,000 and less than 100,000 he will get 6% commission. So here uh, this salesperson named as Muhammad 
his total sales are less than 100,000 and greater than 75,000 so therefore he is getting commission 6% and here uh, we will get we will see another example maybe this one 9% commission here his total sales are 155,307 dollar so 9% here we come where is 9% here 9% any person who will make sales equal to or greater than 150,000 and less than 100, 175,000 he will get sales commission of 9% so here you can see this sales uh, here total sales of this uh, sales person named as Oscar his total sales are greater than 150,000 and less than 175,000 so here approximate match is useful for uh, uh, for the, those cases where we don't have values to match exactly so here uh, as uh, now what we need to do we need to make uh, calculate commission in dollars I will simply multiply these both columns and here we go now you can see we have been calculated total commission in dollars and as I, be, I have been told you I will tell you some limitations or, or some essentials that you need to make sure uh, before you start using approximate match here we have this table from which we try to look up our values this table should be in ascending order means the uh, smallest value should be at top and the greatest value or largest value should be at bottom or it should be in ascending order uh, so let me change this order from ascending to descending and let me show you how this is this makes error or this will show us error so I will change see now you can see sort largest to smallest I will change this and now you can see this will show us error so you need to make sure before you start using approximate match that your order of your table from which you are trying to look up value should be in ascending order or from smallest to largest so I will change this and now you can see our results are correct so friends at last I will request you please don't forget to subscribe our channel and also please don't forget to like our video if you don't understand anything from this video Please don't forget to comment below. I will answer all of your questions. Okay friends, bye bye.